Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ron and today we're going to be discussing one or two turrets in Deep Rock. So I recently put up a poll on the channel. This has 3,300 votes as of right now, which is fantastic. Thanks everybody for joining in and being part of the polls. I really do appreciate it. It's a lot of fun to hear from you guys. This is actually an idea from a previous poll, uh, which was on the Scout Secondary, I want to say. Um, I don't remember exactly who suggested it, but I thought that it was a really good idea and it would make a really good talking point. This was a simple question of do you prefer one or two turrets and why is that? And as you can see from the results here, we have about a 70-30 split, roughly. It's been kind of fluctuating a little bit, not really going above one or two percents more than what it is right now. So about 30% of people would say one turret and about 70% of people would say two turrets. And the reasons as to why, let's talk about two turrets first since that has the highest amount. A lot of people brought up that two turrets gives you more damage per second, which that is true. If you build all damage on turrets and you have two of them, it makes sense that they will do more damage per second than a single turret. That's not necessarily more damage per shot, but it is more damage per second spread out. A couple of people also pointed out that if you have two turrets, you can potentially cover more area and you will have two turrets focusing multiple enemies. Potentially, that's not always true. Sometimes you have the turrets focusing the same enemy and unfortunately that might not be the best enemy for them to be focusing. They might be shooting something like an oppressor right in the face and he doesn't care. He's not taking any damage from that. But they could also be picking off jellyfish, they could be picking off swarmers, etc, etc. They could be picking off a whole lot of things, which is very useful. Another point to be made is a lot of people said that they really like the stun ability on turrets. And if you have two turrets that can stun enemies, you're more likely to stun multiple enemies. That can be super useful against like Mac Terra Plagues. So not only that, but also some of the overclocks people pointed out for Engineer or certain perks, or I guess mods, on weapons do benefit more from two turrets than one turret. Uh, turret arc benefits more from two turrets than one turret. Turret EM discharge also benefits more from two turrets than one turret. Turret whip with the Warthog auto shotgun also benefits more from having two turrets because they can both be going off. So you do have a lot of benefits going with two turrets. Now, 30% of people still said that they enjoy taking one turret the majority of the time. And a lot of people pointed out multiple reasons. You do get more damage per shot with just one turret. You also tend to not go through ammo as often, which can be kind of an issue with Engineer. Engineer can dump all of their ammo really fast. They're probably one of the fastest classes to be able to do that. And they can do a ton of damage that way. Now, a, another common reason as to why people said that they wanted just one turret is that it's very simple. You don't have to really think about it. You put up your one turret. If you need to refill it, you refill it. If you need to recall it, you recall it. And it is a more flexible choice to just take one turret because you can really just pick the Mark II version of the turret and build whatever you want on it. It's probably going to be fine. It's also just less of a hassle whenever there's a horde to set up for. You just have to put up one turret. That's it. So if you're somebody like myself, really, that forgets to use their turrets or just forgets to place both of their turrets down and maybe only puts one down, one turret does make a lot of sense because it's going to get the most benefit out of that type of playstyle. However, if you can be micromanaging to some extent. Sometimes it's not really necessary to micromanage, but if you can micromanage, then putting up multiple turrets works. Um, you can set them up constantly. You can keep safe perimeters whenever you're doing anything. You can set them on platforms. You can set them to protect Dotty, whatever it might be. You can set them to protect an objective like a black box. For me, it's always came down to personal preference. Um, like a lot of Deep Rock stuff, it's really personal preference. What do you prefer? What suits your play style better what works best for you if you just want to set up one turret forget about it and leave it just take one turret it makes a lot of sense then if you want to micromanage your turrets and get the absolute most amount of damage and most amount of potential value out of them take two turrets and set them up accordingly neither one of those strategies is necessarily better or worse than the other one in the context of actually just playing the game and having fun and enjoying the builds you could boil it down to mathematically one way or the other, depending on builds, depending on preference, depending on mission type. And yeah, you could probably come up with the most optimal setup possible. However, most people aren't really going to do that. I certainly am not. So just a quick video today. Thanks everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it. Tell me your thoughts down below on one or two turrets. Which ones do you prefer and why? Or do you feel like they both have their place and are very flexible? So thank you guys so very much for watching this. I really do appreciate it. And special thanks to the supporters of this channel. These are my members over here on YouTube and my patrons over on Patreon. They get early access to videos just like this. And if you would like to have early access, you can. There are links down in the description as well as there's the join button over here on YouTube. 
thanks everybody who does that. It does help out the channel a lot. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.